hello, this is Dr. Dave Gatros. Uh, I'm going to show you today how to write a simple MIPS program using Qt SPIM to read in a single integer and to print it out. Uh, follow the steps uh, very closely. You should have Qt SPIM on your computer. It works both on a Mac and a PC. And we're going to be using uh, any simple editor. I'm using WordPad right here. And I'll save this as a plain text file. So let's get started. I wanted to print out a message, so I'll just put these comments in here. I want to um, uh, print out a message. Okay. Read an integer, and then print the integer out without a message. Okay. So these are the things I'm going to do. So let me go up here and let me start putting in things I'm going to do. The very first thing I do is I put in the dot data. And I'm going to declare my messages. Okay. Message one, give it a name, is a dot ASCIIs. The dot A S C Z I Z I Z uh, is kind of a C plus plus string. It puts the null character there. So please enter in a a single number. Okay. <clears throat> now we're done with that, so we go into our text, which is our um, uh, source code. We tell it the entry point to the computer, which is main, and then we put it main right there with a colon. That's the entry point. Now the very first thing we want to do is we want to print out our message. So let's do that. To do that, we have to tell the system call what what to actually do. That's done by passing a number to register v0. Okay, load immediate. We're going to do v0 with four. That four is uh, tell syscall to print a string. Okay. Now what I have to do is I have to put the address of the string in A0. Okay. So that is message one. One. Let me go up here and put that out of there. Message one. Give it the address of the string. Now syscall. Actually make the call to the uh, system call and actually print the string. <clears throat> now we're going to test this. And I, I encourage you to do this uh, to test your code before you actually go too far. We're going to make sure that this all works. So I'm going to go up here and I'm going to say file save as and a plain text document. Make sure it's a plain text document. I'm going to put it in my library that I have uh, set up here. Sample uh, print read numbers dot s. Make sure it's a dot s for uh, assembly language. Save a and say yes. All right, so our program's there. So we'll go over here to Qt Spim and we'll say file reinitialize and load. Load. I always reinitialize and load the file. I never just load the file. The reason is it doesn't overwrite it. It puts it at the end, so you have two versions of it in there. So there is my program, and it is sample. Okay, let me word these by. Sample, print, read numbers. And you see, I've got a syntax error there. It says, ah, I don't know what that is. All right, well, let's bring that back over. And we didn't. We should be syscall right there. So now we've seen an example of a syntax error. We'll save this. Yep, we want to save it like that. And we'll go back over here and we'll say file, reinitialize and load file. We'll go down and find our uh, sample print read numbers. We get no errors, it looks good. So we go up here in simulator and say run. Ah, please enter in a single number. So that looks pretty good. All right, so let's finish writing our program right now. So we know that our program will run. We've got a uh, clean clean assembly. It's actually called assembly, not a compile. So the next thing we want to do is read in a number. And I'm going to go add a space out here just to make the 
look a little better. Now to do that, we have to tell the syscall to read in an integer. I, I use v0, I put 5 in there. So we say tell syscall to read an integer. Okay. We do syscall. Okay, that reads the integer in. Read the integer. It is placed in v0. So the first thing you want to do is move it to a, a, a register that you're going to use it in. You never leave it in v0. So we're going to move, uh, or we're going to actually uh, save the red integer into s0. This is just a good habit to do. I don't have to do it for this particular application, but it's just a safe thing to do. You read in an integer, save it off instantly because uh, A0, A1, A2, A3, and V0 and V1 are used by several several function calls. Okay, so we read it in. Okay, now we want to print it out. All right, to print it out, what we do is we have to tell Syscall to print it out. To do that, we say V0 1 is tell Syscall to print an integer. Okay. We have to move it into A0, okay, where it's in S0 right now. Okay. Move number to A0, and then syscall. All right. That's our program. That's our program. Let me go ahead and erase these comments right here. Um, notice I, I, I use comments out here quite a bit. Uh, it's very important to do that just to remind yourself uh, what you're doing. So let's save this. File save. Yes, we want to do that. And again, you can use any editor you want. We'll go over here and we'll say file reinitialize and load. All right. Now go down here and say sample. Print read numbers. Open it up. No com assembly errors, by the way. We're going to say can run and continue. And we're going to enter in a number, 12, and it prints it out, and our program's done. You know it's done. Let me move this to the side here. You'll know it's done. You'll look at this area right here, and you'll notice that the syscall, 192, syscall 10, exit. That means that your program's actually stopped, and so that's a good sign. So that is how you uh, print a message out and read in an integer and then print the integer out. Okay. Play this video as many times as you need to, and we'll go on to the next one. Have a good day.